Hello everyone and welcome to my channel drama area. In this video I will show you all the dramas of, Kitadea Takashi. But before we start support me guys and subscribe to my YouTube channel. His drama number 1 is, Jia Hu Season 2. The drama is released between, October 2, 2009 and December 18, 2009. And it contains 12 episodes of 29 minutes duration. And Kitadei Takashi played a guest role. As Riku. The drama is about, 18-year-old Ando Mai has always received attention from the guys in her school which also made her a target of bullying from her jealous female classmates. Looking to overcome the trauma Mai decides to compete in the Hostess Grand Prix to be named the number one Kayabakura Hostess and win the 300 million yen prize. His drama number two is, Ryo Maiden. The drama is released between January 3rd, 2010 to November 28th, 2010. And it contains 48 episodes of 45 minutes duration. And Kitadei Takashi played a guest role. As Ido Reijiro. The 49th NHK Taiga drama is Ryo Maden, set back in. The Bakumatsu period. The story focuses on the life of. Sakamoto Ryoma who lived from 1835 to 1867. He was an important leader in the movement to overthrow the Tokugawa Bakufu, eventually bringing about the Meiji Restoration. He was also one of the founders of modern-day Japanese Navy through incorporation of Western technology, which proved to be a force to be reckoned with during the revolution. His drama number 3 is, Tumbling. The drama is released between, April 17, 2010 to June 26, 2010. And it contains 11 episodes of 58 minutes duration. And Kitadei Takashi played a guest role. As Bum. The drama is about, all hell breaks loose at a local high school when a very effete men's tumbling and rhythmic gymnastics club is suddenly joined by a gang of the school's baddest boys, and proceed to make believers out of everybody around them. Casting a spotlight on the Japanese-born sport of men's rhythmic gymnastics, tumbling is an uplifting and inspirational passion of youth drama about true friendship, dreams, and the wonders of hard work. In fact, all the actors underwent rigorous gymnastics training so they could perform their stunts. But will they all be tumbling like pros by the end of their dramatic run? His drama number 4 is, Perfect Report. The drama is released between, October 17, 2010 to December 19, 2010 and it contains 10 episodes of 45 minutes duration. And Kitadei Takashi played a guest role. As Tachibana Hiroshi. The drama is about, Matsuyuki plays a top-class TV reporter named Aoyama, who possesses both brains and beauty but is also known for being too rigid. Despite her cold and blunt outward appearance, on the inside she is passionate as a Reporter, dedicated to collecting information and seeking out the truth. His drama number 5 is, Go, Haimtachi no Sengoku. The drama is released between, January 9, 2011 to November 27, 2011 and it contains 46 episodes of 45 minutes duration. And Kitadei Takashi played a guest role, as Yoshiaki Ashikaga. The 50th NHK Taiga drama is Go. The story focuses on the life of Go, the wife of the second Tokugawa shogun Hidetada. Go was the third daughter of the daimyo Aizai Nagamasa, 
who was married to the sister of Oda Nobunaga. One of Go's older sisters was the wife of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, while the other married the daimyo Kyogoku Takesugu. His drama number six is, Sengoku Donchi. The drama is released between, October 1, 2011 to March 24, 2012. And it contains 26 episodes of 30 minutes duration. And Kitadei Takashi played a support role. As Honda Tadakatsu. The drama is about, a high school students bearing the names. Of Sengoku military commanders fight for supremacy using a mysterious power called Kenjin. His drama number seven is Ultra Zone. The drama is released between October 16, 2011 to March 25, 2012, and it contains 23 episodes of 30 minutes duration. And Kitadei Takashi played a guest role as bad guy. His drama number 8 is Boku to star number 99 Nikki. The drama is released between October 23, 2011 to December 25, 2011. And it contains 10 episodes of 46 minutes duration. And Kitadei Takashi played a support role. As Mizuno. The drama is about, in the romantic comedy Boku to star number 99 Nikki, top Korean actress Han Yuna falls in love with a quiet man named Kohei Namaki. Kohei Namaki is a single man approaching his 40s. He works part time at a security company. He has a sweet and handsome appearance, which some people take advantage of as he is easily swayed by those around him. Kohei often takes care of his sister's three kids because his sister has a habit of wandering around. He is a passionate man and dreams of finding his star, but because of his family and economic situations, Kohei can't follow through on those dreams. One day, Kohei is assigned security detail for the beautiful actress Han Yuna. Even though she has a near-perfect appearance and style, she prefers to act like a normal person. She enjoys eating simple Japanese foods, and on the filming set, UNA goes out of her way to help others. UNA has a pure and kind spirit and seems to be the envy of all. Inside, however, UNA is lonely working in the entertainment field and she has a big secret. At first, bodyguard Kohei and top star UNA don't get along. With time, they become closer. Over the next 99, days, their relationship changes. But on the hundredth day when the contract ends, what choice will they make? His drama number 9 is, Kadamo Kaisatsu. The drama is released between, April 17, 2012 to June 19, 2012 and it contains 10 episodes of 30 minutes duration. And Kitadei Takashi played a guest role. The drama is about, a middle-aged veteran detective at the Special Investigation Division of the Kanagawa Prefectural Police Department has his body transformed into that of a child by breathing in a special gas when he chased after an evil organization named Red Venus. His drama number 10 is, Cayman Rider Game. The drama is released between, October 6, 2013 to September 28, 2014. And it contains 47 episodes of 24 minutes duration. And Kitadei Takashi played a guest role. As Sonomura. The drama is about, in this installment of Toei's long-running Cayman Rider franchise Kao Takazuraba, a young man coming into adulthood in the secluded Zawaim city, reunites with some friends from the street dance team he was a part of in his youth. 
only to find that the captain of the team has disappeared in some sort of other world and left behind a strange belt buckle and padlock. Moments later, Kao Ta and his friend Mai are attacked by a monster called an Envs, Kao Ta uses the belt buckle and padlock to transform into Kamen Rider game and defeats the monster. However, this is just the beginning of things for Kao Ta and Mai as they continue to search for their old team captain, run into more Kamen Riders both friendly and adversarial, and uncover a plot that could change the fate of all humanity. His drama number 11 is, Hard Nut. The drama is released between, October 20, 2013 to December 8, 2013. And it contains 8 episodes of 48 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a guest role. As Iwasaki Reiji. The drama is about, Kurumi Nanba is a student in late teens majoring in math at Tokyo University. She's viewed as a weirdo. Due to her poor communication skills, but having a genius level intellect. Meanwhile, Tatsuhiko Tomoto is a young detective. Kurumi Nanba and Tatsuhiko Tomoto work together to solve difficult cases including a series of bomb explosions, a locked room murder and corporate blackmail. His drama number 12 is, Bitter Blood. The drama is released between, April 15, 2014 to June 24, 2014. And it contains 11 episodes of 46 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a guest role. As a criminal. The drama is about, rookie detective, Sahara Natsuki is assigned to the investigation division of the Ginza police station. Here he has an unexpected reunion with his father and veteran detective, Akimura Shimao, from whom he has been estranged. Since his parents' divorce, they find themselves unwilling partners, butting heads repeatedly. Over time, however, Natsuki learns more about how to be a good detective from his father, and possibly how to let go of their past. His drama number 13 is, Roosevelt Game. The drama is released between, April 27, 2014 to June 22, 2014. And it contains 9 episodes of 54 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a support role. As Karahashi Ipi. The drama is about Hasaka Mitsuru is the company president of Aishima Manufacturing, a medium-sized precision instrument. Maker caught in a crisis of survival due to the recession and intense competition with other companies in the industry. Hasaka joined Aishima Manufacturing mid-career. His ability was appreciated by the founder and chairman, Aishima. Tsuyoshi and he became the president through an unprecedented promotion. However, Hosaka was promotion over all other executives who have been at Aishima Manufacturing all their lives is greatly criticized by the people in the company. Shortly after he assumed his post, the world is plunged into a recession which has its roots in a financial crisis, and Aishima Manufacturing is no exception. Its business falters. Hosaka has to face the ordeal of betting on the company's survival as its president. How will he overcome life's greatest predicament? His drama number 14 is, Kurofuku Monogatari. The drama is released between, October 24, 2014 to December 12, 2014. And it contains 8 episodes of 50 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a support role. As Makimura Takeru, The drama is about, Ogawa Akira is a student who has failed medical school entrance exams twice and is retaking it for a third time. His father is a doctor and his parents yearn for him to enter medical school. One day, he happens to encounter 
the beautiful hostess Kyoko. It is love at first sight for him. Because of this, he goes into the Ikebukuro nightclub where Kyoko is the top hostess, and starts working as a black-suited staff member. Inexperienced in the ways of the world and naive, Akira starts to learn about the harshness of living in the nightlife and begins to change. His drama number 15 is, Yazuragi no Sato. The drama is released between, April 3, 2017 to September 29, 2017. And it contains 129 episodes of 20 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a guest role. As Mamushi. The drama is set in a retirement home named Yazuragi no Sato La Strata where only those who had worked in the TV entertainment industry such as actors, writers, musicians, and artists are allowed to live at Kikumura Sakae, who used to be a popular scriptwriter, lives among the former stars and the problems they face are presented in a humorous manner. His drama number 16 is Kishiryu Sentai Raya Solgar. The drama is released between March 17, 2019 to March 1, 2020. And it contains 48 episodes of 23 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a guest role as instructor. The drama is about 65 million years ago, the immensely powerful Druden tribe reigned over Earth. The tribe abandoned the planet. When a gigantic meteor approached, vowing that they would return as the rulers of the world again as they headed into space. The Ryasua tribe who battled against the Druden tribe stayed on Earth, along with their dinosaur companions, the Kishiryu. The Ryasua tribe withstood the Ice Age brought on by the gigantic meteor. They placed their Kishiryu companions into the Ryasols and sealed them in temples throughout the world. Time has moved on and the Druden tribe has returned after fighting in harsh environments across space, totally increasing their powers. The Ryasu tribe that kept the Earth safe in the past have selected new knights, the Ryasolgers. They have been revived by their mission as the battle against the Druden tribe begins. His drama number 17 is Imawa no Kuni no Alice. The drama is released on December 10, 2020, and it contains eight episodes of 48 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a guest role as Ken. The drama is about Arasu Ryohei, a listless, jobless, and video game obsessed young man, suddenly finds himself in a strange, emptied out version of Tokyo in which he and his friends must compete in dangerous games in order to survive. In this strange world, Arasu meets Yusajai, a young woman who's navigating the games alone. After a dangerous game which tests Arasu's limits, the two set out together to unravel one mystery after another as they risk their lives and confront what it means to live. His drama number 18 is, Hakagatsu W.A. Yoru no Batting Center Day. The drama is released between, July 8, 2021 to September 9, 2021. And it contains 9 episodes of 30 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a guest role, as strong batter. The drama is about Natsuha Mai is a 17-year-old high school student. She begins to work part-time, during her summer vacation, at her uncle's batting cage center. There, she meets a mysterious man named Itio Tomohiro. He is a former professional baseball player and he claims that he can discern a person's worries by looking at their batting swing. Itio Tomohiro comes to the batting center every night that Natsuha Mai works and watches female customers take batting practice. He tries to solve their worries by using baseball theory.
His drama number 19 is, Avalanche. The drama is released between, October 18, 2021 to December 20, 2021. And it contains 10 episodes of 54 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a guest role, as Kamori's henchman. The drama is about, Habusi Ichi is a member of the mysterious, outlaw group Avalanche. The group exists at a time when, moral hazards run rampant among politicians, bureaucrats, businesses and even among ordinary people. His drama number 20 is, Mayonaka Ni Hello. The drama is released between, January 13, 2022 to March 17, 2022. And it contains 10 episodes of 30 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a guest role. The drama is about Azumi, a manga artist, is staying at the guest house Sun Plaza Asanuma with the cheapest accommodation. However, she can't concentrate on her work because she is bothered by the lively voices of the house mother, Mariko, and her daughter, Misaki, coming from the common space. When she looks up the reputation of Sun Plaza Asanuma on the internet, she finds a list of bad reviews, but among them she finds a mysterious comment, a door opens. Then, when Azumi is stuck at work, a door suddenly appears in front of her that leads to the backstage of Hello! Project. His drama number 21 is, Takasu 9 Season 5. The drama is released between, April 6, 2022 to June 8, 2022. And it contains 10 episodes of 54 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a guest role as Kawabata Kenji. The drama is about in this latest installment, the storyline will focus on each member of the special investigation team. It will depict the new lives of the following characters Asua Michiko, Komi Yamashiho, and Mureis Kengo. Mitsuya Shohei belongs to the new department, SSBC, within the Metro Police Department. MPD. His character is a bright, but slightly spontaneous young man that's hard to hate. He will be supporting the special investigation. His drama number 22 is, Good Tama, An Excellent Adventure. The drama is released on, December 13, 2022. And it contains 10 episodes of 12 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a guest role as, Good SP. The drama is about a lethargic, empathetic road drama about Finding one's parents for everyone who just wants to laze about Having resigned itself to the fact that it will just end up on someone's plate, Good Tama just wants to be lazy all the time But, swept up by the go-getting, overbearing chick shaky pile it leaves the refrigerator and heads out into the world. Together, these polar opposites go on an adventure to find their mother. His drama number 23 is, Kano Bin Suspense Kizo 235. The drama is released between, January 27, 2023 to March 10, 2023. And it contains 7 episodes of 54 minutes duration. And Kitade Takashi played a guest role as Kawasaki Kiichi. The drama is about Takamaru Takia, a member of the Metropolitan Police Department's 2nd Mobile Investigation Unit, becomes buddies with Shimanaga Shoichi, a detective nearing retirement age, in place of his injured partner, Takamaru is disappointed, but on the first day of his investigation with Shimako, a man's body is found under an elevated railway in Shibuya. When Shimanaga sees the body, he instantly finds out that 
the photo ID in his pocket is a forgery and that the man is wanted for habitual theft. Yes, Shimanaga is a detective with an unexpected ability. Thanks for watching guys here is all the dramas of Kitadei Takashi. I hope you loved the video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.